is poppin dope nation welcome back to my channel it's your girl dope ass panna and today i'm gonna share with you guys how i made my first ever braided wig and this wig unit was sent to me by love me virgin hair they sent me this wig and they also sent me some braiding hair and i did use the um black braiding hair that they sent me but i didn't use this 27 just because I don't know I just wanted it to be all black so yeah I know this video is kind of long but I tried to show you guys everything that I did step by step so just you know bear with me um so first I started out by bleaching the knots on the unit and I used this lift up powder usually I use BW and 30 volume but I wanted to try something different so I used this lift up powder and I actually um really really liked it so yeah I'm just mixing the bleach and you just want to make sure you get like a cake batter consistency so that when you are applying the bleach to the wig unit it's not seeping through the lace and um, getting onto the actual strands of hair so yeah you want to make sure that it's kind of thick as I'm applying it I'm really applying it to the top area and I'm kind of just like patting it on there I'm not really pushing down super hard because like I said you don't want it to like slip through and this wig unit I don't know if you guys can kind of see that area where the clips are was really thick like you can't even basically see, like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, there was no point in bleaching that part because it was so thick that you wouldn't have even been able to tell that it was bleached. So, I kind of only bleached the top half of this. And I also used, like, whatever leftover bleach I had. And I put it on the back section of um, the unit. And so, yeah, that little area where the clips are, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like... Just imagine if there were like layers of lace where you can't like see through. So there was really no point in me bleaching that. Um, but if it weren't like that, I would definitely try to bleach the whole unit. But I really mainly just focused on the top half where I knew that the, the um, wig would be parted. This unit actually took me a minute to make just because like my schedule has been just so crazy and I have a lot going on. So I'm filming in like different areas. So just bear with me like here I'm at school and I'm just trying to get it done. Um, so here you guys can see that the lace is kind of tinted brown and this is after I let it air dry and um, yeah I, I know you guys could probably like barely tell that it's bleached here but when I'm done with the unit you'll definitely get like a better view of, of the different color of the lace. So I'm going to go ahead and place the unit on my canvas head and to pin it down I'm using salon care t-pins and this is just going to help to keep the unit in place you want to make sure that when you pin it down you pin it down tight and you make sure that um obviously like the wig is lined up with with the canvas head because you want to make sure that when you're braiding you're placing the braids in the correct spot so i'm just going to go ahead and secure the pins all around the front and around the back of the canvas head So next I'm going to go ahead and find the middle of this unit and I'm going to go ahead and pluck the middle and that's just because I want the braids to fall with the middle part and so I didn't have any tweezers so I decided to just pluck it with my hand and I do like to do this first because it makes it easier for me to part the rest of the unit. So I'm basically just taking my fingers and I'm pulling out strands of hair in the part and you guys will see when I'm done it opens up the part a little bit and it will help it to look more natural when um, you're wearing it later. So once my part is nice and plucked, I'm going to go ahead and start parting for my box braids. Um, obviously starting in the back just like you would do on a regular head. And guys, this part literally drove me insane. You guys know as braiders, we are super particular about our parts. And it was just very hard to get a straight part on this wig head. And so I ended up having to take more T-pins and kind of pin them in areas to prevent the wig from moving. And just making it like a little more snug so I can get a better part. I'm still going to be using Shine and Jam to kind of like help define my sectioning and everything. Um, but guys, it literally drove me insane. It was so, so hard. This was definitely the hardest part. Um, so yeah, you just want to make sure you kind of like take your time with this. I did decide to do the rubber band method. And that's just because number one, this is like really sleek human hair on this wig and I just thought it would give me a better hold and then also as far as sectioning I knew that it would just be a lot easier to make it look nice and clean if I did use the rubber bands. 
And I was applying the rubber bands. I definitely put them on tighter than I would on a normal client's head, but not too tight because I didn't want the lace to buckle up. Um, so you wanna just make sure you put them on there, kind of pull it a little bit tighter. And yeah, um, as far as sectioning, like everything was just hard because it's, like I said, it's not a natural head. And so it was really, really hard to just like part this. This was definitely like, um, guys, like I was literally going insane. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're taking the T-pins and like moving them where you need to move them so that you guys can get the best sectioning that you can possibly get. So when I do my next row above it, just like I would do on a natural hair, I try to lay those in between the row below, and I know that's called like the brick method or whatever. And typically going through, I would definitely like rubber band the entire head, but since I was recording, um, I kind of just did a couple rows, and then I would do some box braids, and yeah, do a couple more rows of parting and box braids. So for these box braids, I am using the two strand method, and this is pretty much the method I always use whenever I'm using rubber bands, just because I feel like the braids move more freely, and it just looks a lot better, and it's easier, quicker, all that good stuff. So yeah, to complete this, I use four packs of braiding hair, so I use two of the packs that they sent to me, and then I also use two more packs of expression. The actual box writing portion of this was not super hard. You just have to make sure you're not pulling really hard, obviously because it's lace and it's not super, super secure. So you just have to kind of watch your tension. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much similar to braiding on a natural head of hair. So I have worked with Love Me Virgin Hair before. They had sent me a U-part wig and that one was slightly big. And I know someone who personally ordered two and they said the same thing, that the unit was big for them. So prior to me even starting this wig, I did go ahead and try this unit on my head just to make sure that it wasn't, um, you know, big like the U-part was. And it wasn't. This one actually fit a lot better. And so you always want to just make sure that you double check your unit prior to putting it on. There are ways to make your wig smaller. Um, I personally don't have a video, but I know people have made videos on this on YouTube. So you guys can go ahead and search that. Maybe one day I'll be able to make a video. Um, but yeah, like I always try to use companies that I, you know, believe in or that I've worked with before that I know is not a scam. So if you guys ever have any type of negative experiences, I would love for you guys to let me know. Obviously, like when we as YouTubers work with companies, um, they're on their shit. So um, if you guys are experiencing something otherwise, then I would love to know. But I've only like ha heard really good things about this company. So yeah, I love, you know, I love working with them. So once I got to the top section, I went ahead and make sure that my part was still there and I'm going to be sectioning off baby hair. And I guess this is like definitely optional, but I think it does make it look more natural when you kind of pull out the baby hairs. And so I'm actually not going to be wearing this, you know, myself. I'm giving it to someone that I went to school with. So um, I didn't like cut them or anything, but I am going to section off some baby hairs on each side just in case she wants them. If not, they can definitely be plucked off or whatever. It's not like you're taking a bunch of bunch. So yeah.
So once I was completely done with the unit, I went ahead and dipped the ends in hot water just like I would do on any natural hair. Only thing that I didn't do is I didn't put the mousse on it just because like I didn't really see the point of that. So I didn't mousse it, um, but I am going to dip the ends just like I normally would. So yeah guys, this is the finished look of the unit. Sorry that this portion of the clip was super dark. Um, I don't know my light was tripping but I'm super proud of the way that this turned out and I am gonna put the wig on at the end of the video I didn't like actually um, melt it down to my head or anything because I'm actually gonna be giving this unit away but um, I did want to just show you guys what it would look like on my head and I didn't like braid my hair down or anything I literally just put it on but I'm super proud of how this wig turned out guys because this is like a lot harder than I thought it would be just because um, like I said, you really need to watch your tension and you don't want to rip the lace so you can't really be pulling super hard and then it's just not a regular human head so it's moving all over the place but I'm super excited that I finally like dove into this because now I'm super thrilled about like just doing braided wigs. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as always make sure you guys like comment subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you already haven't and I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye